Hello there and welcome to another jaw dropping IEM review. Today we have the Simgat EA 500 LM. It's the latest set from Simgat. It's a pretty good one. Uh, disclaimer: I bought the IEM with my own money, and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. Let's get on with the review. So here's the box. They really did a great job on this. Like it's one of the prettiest boxes I've seen for IEMs. The presentation is just very good looking. Uh, some specifications here from the back of the box. I'll <coughs> also put them on the screen. Uh, the impedance is 21 ohms. Uh, sensitivity is 124 decibels. Uh, it's a one single DD dual magnet dual cavity lithium magnesium diaphragm I IEM <clears throat> so uh, the MSRP is around 90 US dollars so yes the unboxing experience is all right like it, it's good because the box is so pretty uh, the presentation is also interesting there's a quote by Blaise Pascal <clears throat> don't try to add more years to your life better add more life to your years well you can add more life to your ears as well with good IEMs I'm so funny uh, there's a good felt pad here that's a nice touch on the boxing because the IEMs were here so this keeps them from scratching and so on because the mirror polish on the on the shells will would easily get scratched if this was all the all the way uh, through shipping and everything what was going to have friction against the cardboard so the IEMs were there uh, there's an accessory box it's a bit awkward to get out um, there were ear tips inside that one so inside this box we have a case uh, it's a it's a simple basic case uh, also there's there's a manual with basic information in there uh, the case is all right to have it's it's not a bad one it's like semi hard so actually protective uh, stock ear tips were uh, 07 clones very common these days good basic ear tips perfectly fine don't really need to upgrade uh, those work well and they, they don't really change the uh, tonality of an IEM so balanced nice ear tips so the tuning nozzles there's two silver ones um, you can mark them with these o-rings provided there's a lot of extras here for you um, to replace them if they go bad or something uh, they probably won't because I doubt uh, people are gonna be changing these too much they will find their best one that they enjoy the most and use that one um, unless you find the tonality really nice the treble high um, really spicy nozzles these two silver ones um, maybe maybe you you will listen to different music with the with the different nozzles but I can't so I can't really give my impressions on on these other nozzles they were too much spice for me uh, the golden nozzles so that's basically the main difference between these ones that these two are silver color and the ones that I'm using uh, are golden so yes these golden ones are more mellow more uh, relaxed uh, still quite spicy in the treble but kind of what I enjoy so yes that's the tuning nozzles in, in short that's the accessories uh, cable is good basic cable uh, Simcot is pretty nice with their included cables so the, the stock cables are um, especially the one on the EA1000 uh, is still among my favorite cables even though it's just a stock cable so stock cables can still be very good and this is a good cable that I have no uh, complaints about this so it's not bad at all which looks kind of nice too so well, maybe the connectors are don't know there's no problems with them but not really that classy looking mm. 
Anyway, nice presentation, pretty good unboxing, fun at least, I like these themes included, and yeah. So, the build and comfort of the IEM. The sim got EA500LM, uh, it's a mirror polished um, shell, so this will instantly get fingerprints on it, as you can see. So microfiber clots are good, <laughs> uh, wish it came with one. So this chrome polished metal shell, it's, it's very nice quality and finish. Uh, there's these interesting vents. I'm not really sure about this construction, um, not that familiar yet with uh, the intricacies. But yes, uh, average size nozzle, it's not the smallest, but it's not the largest either. It's, um, I think it's a little bit less than six millimeters, something like that. So maybe 5.8 or something. Pretty default or around six millimeters, which has become a standard pretty much. So the nozzles, yeah, good contours. Um, the design reminds of some other SimGuard sets, but the angle, even despite being kind, a little bit aggressive, uh, it, it works well with this inner ring here or this inner contour, this raised uh, platform. It supports itself really nicely. Uh, Size is on the smaller size overall, which is nice. I really like it. it. It fits in the ear very good and and yeah, no issues at all with comfort. I could wear this for a long time, no problems. Uh, so yes, the Dunu candy, by far my favorite tip on this set. It makes sense that the, the candy is narrower, narrower bore, so it's gonna probably tame the treble a little bit, so. It gets rid of the little bit of the edge from the spice, the treble spice, and compared to the very neutral, balanced, um, the um, stock ear tips, the 07 clones. So, yeah, it makes sense that I prefer the, the candy. I've tried a lot of ear tips on this, uh, but the, the Dunu candy were even preferred over the, the SNS. Dunos. So the sound of the Simgat EA500LM. Let's start with the overall tonality. So it's essentially a V-shape. It's more V-shape than EA1000 or Simgat's um, very popular EM6L. Uh, but there's rumble in the lows, spice in the highs, so that's kind of defined as a V-shape. Uh, it's up to preference how the treble spice is, there's a lot of it. Uh, it can be too spicy for me on some like colder mixed music that has a lot of content in the treble, like uh, drum cymbals and stuff. But yeah, the overall tonality, musical V-shape, I really like it. So let's go take a look at the frequency response. The sub bass... Uh, it's like a dance floor nightclub rumble in the good way. Like it's 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 a good amount of sub bass, but still feels controlled. I, I listen to Daft Punk on it a lot. Uh, there's no pillow fights. It's real dancing. <laughs> I would like describe the bass as as having a lot of quality. So so there's accuracy to it. It's it's not too soft. It's not bloated. And this definitely is the best sub bass my ears have heard on SimGuard sets. So that's quite a high praise. It's even I really like the bass on the EA1000, but I think the sub bass here is better. All right, let's go to the mid bass itself. Uh, hell yeah, I like it. I like, I like the quality. Like it's, th th this bass has me, has me bopping my head. Like it's, it's, it's not overblown quantity. And it does remind, the mid bass does remind me of the EA1000. It's accurate, punchy, uh, the decay feels correct, so it's fast enough. Uh, I listen to stuff like the the weekend, uh, also a, a lot of metal metal music, um, like stamina. My usual testing tracks has uh, about 20 albums, maybe something like that. It's a bunch of metal, bunch of uh, rap, hip hop, pop music, 
jazz, all kinds of stuff, but yes. The basic, basic stuff like uh, weekend and, and double bass drums in metal music, uh, when the bass is fast, it plays very pleasantly as well. So the bass overall is a definite strength of this set. Just quality all around. Very nice. Mm. So next the mids. Uh, <laughs> damn good here too. Like there's, there's no muddiness. Uh, especially when I tip rolled it. Uh, with the Duno candy, I don't I don't feel there's muddiness. The set tackles its like warmth the, because there's a warmth in the in the mids, uh, but it tackles it nicely. Uh, listening to some warm mixed metal like uh, the usual, one of my favorite recent albums, Dead Hems Guards, Black Medium Current. Uh, it's always an, such a nice experience when a fun sounding set manages moving from bass to mids uh, with a good flow. And even trying something really cold, uh, like black metal stuff, like Emperor, old, uh, older, uh, older, older, harsher metal, I could say. Uh, the drums, the double bass, the lead guitar, raw soundscapes, very nicely separating. So overall, the mids perform very nicely. Um, and the upper mids, uh, easily among my favorite vocal performing IEMs in my whole collection actually. Like Billie Eilish, Caroline Polacek, uh, there's great presence with both low and high vocals, clear no shout with my library, using like uh, male vocal stuff, lower stuff, like stamina. Uh, yeah, it just works. Vocal, vocal forwardness here is controlled very nicely, performs very nice. Uh, high toned instruments mm, in the upper mids, like they, they, I feel they simply like surround you with these layers of precise tones. That's also a bit about technicalities, I suppose, but yes, like I really like the upper mids of this as well. And here's where the spice comes in when we move into the treble. Like this is where the set gets either crowned as a, as a king of something or discarded because you can't take it. So with the treble, some music is too much. E even with the gold nozzle that I like to use, that is the most relaxed and mellow nozzle. So listening to that kind of harsher old black metal stuff like Emperor, uh, it's not Yume Ultra levels of unpleasant, shrill, piercing treble for me. But if the music is very cold mixed and full of drum cymbals or loud, high pitched vocals, it starts to fatigue after a couple songs. And yeah, that is a problem. It, it's, it's up to luck and your music library. Treble heads can love this set, and I really enjoy this treble but it has to be with warm and relaxing music. So especially I found that I enjoyed it with, uh, with jazz and so on. So Chet Baker, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, just yes. It was just a, just a blissful experience listening to that, that kind of relaxed warm music with this, with this IEM. So it can go among my favorites because of that. For sure, but it can have problems if your music is is brighter. So you have to know what you're getting into with Simgot because Simgot has a lot of bright sets. So don't expect uh, a safe safer set like the EM6L. All right. So then the technicalities. As I was hinting before, the separation is great. I think it's, it's the best part of the technicalities. It's easy to pick out the layering of the, of the mix, of the mixing and mastering of the, of the music. Um, soundstage is average for IEMs. It's not much on IEMs anyway, but uh, it's nothing special here. It's okay. Uh, details, uh, good. I, I feel like a tiny bit less than on EA1000. Um, not really sure. It's some kind of masking going on, I think, with the peaks this has, or it might be masking with the with the bass this has. Um, 
But yes, uh, details are still good, but the EA-1000 had more, I feel. Uh, Tumbra overall is clean. Um, if I would have to nitpick the technicalities more, as I like to do, uh, I like to focus on these things. I could say the 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 Tumbra can be slightly the, there can be a slightly artificial feel in some of the high pitch instruments, it, but it also could be my aversion to the treble peak. So it could be the the brightness, just the spice being too much. <laughs> the spice must flow. Uh, it, it's truly a nitpick again, and it, it's possible that it's just my ears. So yes, there's, it's ne definitely not a bad timbre. It's clean, but it again depends on the music. So it can make the bright music sound artificial. Not not really sure if it's me or the IEM. Could be the IEM. Could be me. I'm pretty the Lulu. Anyway. <laughs> so imaging. It's all right. Uh, in PvP gaming, I tried this with, uh, as I try all my IMs with, with video games, PvP online games. Um, uh, mostly like Hunt Showdown and Enlisted this time. I think the bass seemed to hide some sound cues a bit. Um, there's a lot of explosions going on and stuff like that. Uh, listening to game sounds intensely and on a higher volume when gaming, trying to hearing the sounds. It fatigued me with this set, like after an hour or so. So, uh, could be me again with the triple version in this this sense. Uh, but yeah, it's something that I, I don't really know if this. Uh, if you're a triple head, maybe, and, and your ears are strong, and you've gone to the ear gym a lot, uh, maybe you can handle the spice better than I, I can. But overall, great technicalities, as I have come to expect from Simgot. And yeah, pretty nice. So, a conclusion. Yeah, for anyone looking for uh, good technicalities and a fun sound signature, especially quality in bass, this can be a very good IEM for the price. And so that, that the quality in bass for me, it means the accuracy, the good attack, so instead of just high quantity of bass, like the bass quantity in here is good and it's not too much for me uh, because overall I'm, I'm actually a bit bass averse. So I, I don't like bass, bass that uh, has uh, like that booming quality when, it, when, it's, when it's just too much. So I'm, I'm a bit weak. <laughs> uh, so yes, the treble spice in this set is the dangerous thing. If your library has music with a lot of high pitch content and sib or sibilant vocals, some some female singers especially can can have very sibilant uh, notes in their in their vocals, so it, it can be a problematic, and this can be too spicy for that. It fits my relaxing music really really well, and there's a lot of like enjoyable dance music and pop music and jazz music and so on. Um, but this doesn't really fit my main library of metal too much. Only the warm mixed stuff in there. So the recommendation is to demo first, but it's still a great overall product for the price, I feel. It's really a good job by Simcot, and they keep doing IEMs that are not just run of the mill. They keep doing their own thing, and I think this is a very high quality dynamic driver and the price is very competitive. So, it's a good one. I recommend, but I, you should definitely demo first. If you know that you can take bright sets and, and you really enjoy uh, the Sim God Spice, sure, then go for it. This has been Java with Java Audio. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And um, I already have, there's 400 of you. Wow, that's pretty nice. That's pretty damn nice. I didn't, didn't, I didn't dream that we would be here this fast. So, also thank you for your patience. Um, as you can see, the video is a little bit higher quality. I recently got um, uh, this is a phone I'm recording on, so it's the Samsung S24, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing higher quality videos from now on. And uh, yes, next up will be an ear tip guide video actually. So. See you guys soon. Thank you and bye bye.